If you own an Apple Watch and you do CrossFit, you need to watch this video. Hey, what's up? It's the Fit Gear Hunter, and up for review today is the Wad Insight app for the Apple Watch if you are a CrossFitter. I have been testing this over the last few days. I just did a comprehensive review of some of the primary apps that you could use if you do CrossFit and you own an Apple Watch. Um, so check the description below for that full summary review. But I isolated this one out because it is different than all the others because it gives you complete and detailed workout data of your specific CrossFit workout that you know you had programmed and it gives you a whole bunch of specs. So we're gonna dive into that today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. Obviously, Fit Gear Hunt, Hunter uh, YouTube channel and the fitgearhunter.com website is for testing and tracking devices and apps for the purpose of CrossFit training versus all the other running, biking, and swimming videos that are out there. So what does this do? It basically links you to multiple training programs that are out there in the industry right now. So Comp Train, CrossFit, Mayhem, you know, Think Tank, Invictus, multiple programs that have an ongoing program schedule, you basically can download and dump the workout from those program schedules into the watch. And then you'd basically go through the workout and you swipe when you go from movement to movement and it, it'll, it'll pick up all these statistical specifics about the workout for each movement. So think about what it does. You know, a lot of us, you know, we wanted to know like how fast we were at some part of the workout or when we finished one round and start what our time and so all the watches nowadays do have a lap meter a lap counter which you can use to calculate time per round and what round you're on um, but a lot of us also have different times have you know doing a different workout we write on a whiteboard what we just did and what the time was for that one segment and the other segment but this tracks it all and it gives you a awesome statistical details it tracks your workouts it tracks your time per movement it tracks your time per round it tracks your heart rate at every point along the way for per round it gives you a summarized training effect both aerobic and anaerobic yes it does that too it gives you a transition time tracker. It gives you a stat summary, like how much average time you spent on bar muscle ups throughout the whole course of the workout. And it spent just, you know, gives you a summary of time per movement in the workout. So you can create your own workouts in the app itself. You can download from a, a wide array of number of you know, programs that are in the industry right now. And you can even send a request to have your boxes workouts uploaded for free for like four months, I think. That's crazy. It's got a community built into it. For those that are tracking, you can track, obviously, if you have a community within your uh, gym and everybody's using Apple Watches and you, you, know, you can connect with them. It's got a leaderboard for each of the main workouts of people that have done the certain, that certain program. So if a bunch of people are on the comp train program, you'll see their workout times versus yours over the period of time. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at the app or look at the watch and how it flows through on the watch, how it flows through on the app, and then talk about it in summary. Let's dive in. Okay, so here's the uh, app on the watch and you basically, you have whatever you've downloaded and then it's just got some generic downloads that are built into it. So 20.1, 20.2, Murph, Fran, Cindy, some of the basic workouts that you know we're all familiar with. But whenever you download, and this got an open goal, so if you were just doing, so what I usually do is split the wad up into two parts. So the lifting portion I'll just do as an open goal, then I'll end that workout, and then I'll dive into the Metcon specifically. Um, but it it is really cool how it runs through it. So first you'll go into a workout, and this is just, I'll show you in the app how you download it and find it and all that stuff. But it, you know, basically it's gonna run it like this through a bunch of different segments, and then you start, and it's gonna count down to three, and then as you go through each piece, you basically, it's telling you what you need to do. So 200 meter run. So let's say you're running, you're running, you're running, and then you swipe left to go to the next segment of the workout. So you're lifting, 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 and then you swipe left and it says wait, cause it's got a timer on it. It's got, you know, built in, this has got rest built into the workout. And somehow they just built all this. So you wait, it's got the countdown, it's telling you exactly how long you need to wait. And then, Obviously, we're not allowed to do anything. So you get done with the workout and it'll stop automatically if there's a time cap you'll basically stop. If you get to the end of the five rounds for time and you've clicked through every subset of the fifth round, it'll stop. It's really awesome how it does it and it stays always on when you're in the middle of the workout so there's no issue there it tracks your heart rate in a small thing obviously it'd be nice if some of these things were bigger if you missed a piece like if you over swiped you can go back to the last piece and it'll start counting time on top of it you're like oh 
crud, I only did two deadlifts instead of three, so I gotta go do the last deadlift. And then you go back to the weight, and it's still got the timer running. Some of that, you know, maybe it's not a perfect science when it comes down to it. So to get out of it, you can just hard hold it, and then I'm just gonna discard it because I don't wanna mess up my little stats. But I'll show you some of the workouts on the watch. It really is relatively simple in what you get on the app itself um, once you're in it, but it is it works super well when you're in the workout and you can just click through the times i love the fact that it stops it when the time cap is up and so it just cuts you off um really really neat stuff so let's look at the app all right so i'm gonna take this from square one so you go into the app and it brings you into the landing page just the main home page this is where you know the app is in development, so it's not like the most visually beautiful, but you can see your workout history tied in on the home page overall. Um, you can see, you know, other community members that have given you a strong muscle thumbs up on the workout itself. But you can see also the specifics for the workouts that are coming up. So like this is the comp train workout. Um, you can click on it and it's going to tell you what the workout is. And then in the bottom right corner, in the very little tiny, you see the picture of the Apple Watch. That's where you would you would click on that. I mean, it it's going to say the throw it back workout is on your watch. And then you just refresh the app on the watch and then boom, there it is. And you can just dive right in and start. One of the things that's great, I don't know how they have time to do all this as a startup, but they have the workout up top, and then if there are CrossFit video tutorials for you know certain uh, parts of the workout, they basically will link it in, and they'll show it and display it. So you've now downloaded it. You can see on the top left, Explore Tracks. This is where I went in initially, and I just said Explore Tracks. They've got tracks from all over in all the main ones. So you got the CrossFit games, you got the girls' workout, so you could like go in there and. Um, follow the girls workouts and it's going to pop some of those into your daily workout or you can just go into the track like I just did without following and then you could say well I it's been a while since I've done Angie and I want to figure out like what my time is now now Angie's on my watch you know and same thing with Cindy I want to get a good time for that or I want to go back and do Annie you know Grace or you know now and it's sitting there just ready to go on the watch so you can go into a program and if you do like the programming of a specific um, you know specific uh, group you can actually just download their workouts this is what's crazy to me like if you look at the I mean CrossFit Invictus let's just say I'm working out at home and you know you have to book you have to follow you, you mean I can follow or you can become an athlete but in a lot of these you actually don't have to have a subscription to be able to get their programming you got the hero workout, so you can go through, you can hit the search bar up top, and you look for Chad, and you search, um, and then it should bring up the Chad workout, a thousand box steps with a, wearing a 45 pound ruck. So you can download everything, or you just link in. If you are following one of these, like I am on the comp train, it says following there on the left, you can click into their programming and just see their list of workouts, but I didn't pay $39 a month. I'm just following it. And I got all their workouts and I can do all their workouts. If I didn't have a box to go to, I could be a comp train follower. So when I first set this up, because I didn't have any friends or any links, it was just like a series of all the comp train workouts. So let's see where that is. So like here, so you can just see they had the home gen version and the regular version on some of these workouts. You just hit the little Apple watch icon in the bottom right and then you're off to the races. But let's look at the meat and potatoes for why you're here. So we can go into the bottom right, that little bar graph, and this is just my history of workouts. So the throw it back workout was bar muscle ups and you can see each piece. So bar muscle ups and then it was 50 wall balls and then it was a thousand meter bike erg. So you can see your heart rate at any time it, across all of it you can see your zones like you know how long it took you to do each subset obviously you got the summary up top you can see how much time you spent in moderate light and hard zones you get a training effect for what impact you had the most on but here's your here's your workout round one you can see how long it took you to do the, the work the round one itself five minutes 11 seconds how long it took you to bar muscle ups how long it took to do wall balls the transition time in between and how long it took to do the thousand meter uh, bike erg 
So you can see all of it, I fell short, I didn't complete it in the 15 minutes, so you can see that too. But then look at the bottom. You can see I got done with two rounds and 57 reps. Obviously it wasn't counting the number of meters I might have completed on the bike, but um, average per round, the fastest round, the average time per bar muscle up, average time per wall ball, you can see you know, in each round how long it took you to do each piece of it. So if you were tracking this, you know, you could see I'm taking too long on one part over another. Uh, let's look at a different workout just because there's a lot to see here. The knickknack workout. So you click, let's just see what it was. Click the top left to see the name. And it's basically an AMRAP for 20 minutes, 400 meter rows, and then max strict handstand push-ups. So again, you can see variants of it. Um, and here's the workout. So you can see each of the sections. Now I sort of messed this up because I didn't know I was clicking the right button. Um, but the way it, it, it messed me up is that it didn't actually repeat the run portion. It just, you basically you do the run, assumed you do the run and then you do the other piece. Um, so you can see that workout. You can see the heartache workout. You can go into what the heartache was. If you ever wanna go back to it, three rounds per time. 10 front squats, 20 toes to bar, 50 double, double unders. So this is a great workout because you can see it has your training effect hitting in both areas. You can see the heart rate over time and you can see how long it took me to do each piece of the workout. So if I wanted to just understand better where my slow times were, the round two was probably a little bit too slow, maybe even round three. How long it took me to do front squats because I broke it up too often had significantly slowed down. The toes to bar was not terribly different in each round, but my front squats were. And then the double unders, it looks like, were about the same. So I would focus on front squats if I was gonna redo it. Here you can see each of those pieces, like the 10 front squats went from 40 seconds to a minute 24 and a minute 10. Um, and then all the other pieces to it. But you can analyze your workout and see the workout heart rate over time across it. So just super, and this is gonna take it back to the home page. So you can see your friends, if they give you a positive, you know, you can add your own workout, you can, you know, track different things. But in simple form, the purpose of this is just to analyze your workout. So you can hit the little picture icon and you can see it does do a lot of other things. You can log barbell PRs if you wanna just keep a log book in here. You can log benchmarks, you can add your own benchmark and just put in the name just to know that you did grace in whatever period of time. Um, you can see a bunch of other things um, just summarized in this long list of different areas to look in. But I have loved the quality of the work that they've done so far, primarily just in this specific thing where you can see your heart rate over time in different pieces of the workout itself and go from there to figure out how to speed up or hone in on your workout specifics. So let's talk about it. So that's it. So, it, I mean, looking at the app and the details that it provides, it is awesome for having awareness of where your struggle points are and where your slowdown times are. And that can help you to have awareness for what movements you need to accentuate, what movements you need to work on. If you're competing or if you're trying to get a good rank in the open, Think of what this does when you can see the exact layout of your time for each movement and each subset of a workout. If you're gonna redo a workout, if you're doing Wadapalooza training or you're going for the Rogue Invitational and you're gonna redo a workout to try to qualify, you can see what areas you did bad on. You can see what areas where you were inefficient. You can see your transition times. So you need to move faster from one movement to another. You can see your heart rate. You can see like at certain points, your heart rate wasn't as high as it probably could be and you need to push that portion of the assault bike a little bit harder to maintain a better pace. It shows you all of it. I mean, it shows you again, you know, what round, if you have like a five round workout, you're trying to redo that again, what round you are most slow on and to focus on on the redo. So obviously now that's more for competitive CrossFit, but a lot of us do the open and a lot of us usually take a second stab at doing, the, doing a redo of the workout. And this gives you the details to do an excellent job at knowing how to approach your second attempt and where your slow lag times were. 
So that is awesome. I love seeing the heart rate alongside each movement, each stage of the workout, so you can see where you're over peaking or under peaking. And then obviously the details you know, that it gives you alongside all the other things are just cool stats to have. Now, what are the negatives? What are the downsides? Well, the downside, it doesn't necessarily flow into any training load. It obviously, you know, they give you the training effect per workout, but it doesn't evolve into any load over time. And some of the things I talked with one of the developers today, they are a fantastic company and I really am super excited for how they're going to develop this going forward because they're trying to work it out with Garmin to have it to where you can just download workouts from a mainline workout program into your watch, track it there and get the same type of stats to be able to see all of this data goodness on a Garmin user because as I always share, I dislike the Apple Watch. I cannot stand the form factor and the bunch of little baby apps. Don't like it. But they're working with Garmin to do it in the future. They're considering ways they can add in workload over time so you can see your foot pounds per second like you can on the Beyond the Whiteboard app. So you can be able to see the workout and not only that, but how fast you are moving a certain amount of weight on average per second, which is a good statistical piece if you want to evaluate your, your hard work in it. Um, obviously, you know, oh, before I forget, the pro version is $10 a month and it basically wipes out apps. It basically gives you your, keeps your whole training history. So the free version has ad, ads. Um, it has the ability to store 30 days of history, but not forever. So it gives you that functional thing. You can download premium tracks. Like I think the Mayhem track is a premium track. If you are following the Mayhem programming, um, you have to have the pro version at $10 a month. And I think that gives you some more heart rate analytics. But overall, I feel like, you know, so that's the pro version. The free version is, it's fantastic. I, I, I don't think they should be giving it away for free at this level of detail, in my opinion. Um, so maybe that's a negative that it costs something to have the ads disappear. But one of the things that I found that is a sort of a negative to it is just as they are evolving, some of the layout is a little bit confusing because obviously you go into that main page and it's just like, your workouts as well as the programming you know, for each day flowing through all in the same place. I think they should isolate some of those things in a couple of different places. And then it would be nice if they had some way to see the workouts and the training load for each workout and maybe a chart form or something like that. I asked them about maybe doing a body heat map because, oh yeah, I mean, you know, because they, they have the workouts, you know, they know what movement you did. Maybe there's a way just to flow through that if you did this workout, here are the muscles that you effectively uh, put pressure on and put weight on and, and you might want to rotate or might want to recover. You can see your, t you know, something like that. But all those things are just sort of pipe dreams. But overall, the Wad Insight app is, is not reviewed enough. It's not talked about enough. It's not highlighted enough. It's something that is simple and fantastic if you're an Apple Watch user and you follow a well-known program. I've been doing it with CompTrain. CompTrain has been great and it's been easy to sort of download it in the watch, you click through it, and then all of a sudden it's there. You see your time and your intervals and your details and your transitions and all that stuff. So with that, that is Watt Insight. Stay tuned for a lot of reviews more. I've got the Amazfit GTS3 coming in on Tuesday. I should have the GridX Pro here this week. And then sometime in 2024, the Whoop 4.0 will arrive. So that figure hunter, thanks so much for watching.